Allison. She's the director of merchandising for the Dallas Mavericks. You've been really changing the sports fashion world with new merchandising, brands, fashion. What do you look for when you're buying merchandise? I usually look for something that I haven't seen before or something that's very prevalent in current fashions uh, with different designers, but that would easily translate to subtly logoing it as a Mavericks logo. For instance, a new brand we brought in this year, Miss Fanatic, has a long maxi dress that you can cut and tie, turn into fringe, tie it higher, make it longer, shorter, asymmetrical, which I think is really popular among Dallas fashion fans. We also just brought in a new line of Yum's Metals and it's got some snakeskin in royal and white, um, also really cool leather color blocked pieces, all customly done um, just for the Dallas Mavericks. And then we recently did a line with Hari Mari, which is a local flip-flop company here in Dallas that does a lot of business with Trunk Club. And we did two men's styles and two women's styles. They're perfect for resort wear for the summer with the leather bottom and of course the mask logo. And then our new spring styles are here from Peace Love World, which we are both wearing today. This is so comfy, yet yeah, it's like so stylish. Looking around the room, it just seems like it's all about being unique. You can be a Mavs fan, but kind of show your own style with all these new brands. Yeah, absolutely. I just want the Mavs fans to feel like they can still be fashion forward at a game and not necessarily be confined to just a basic t-shirt, especially if you're a female. And also, speaking of you know unique fashions, I feel like fitness wear is really starting to take off, and you guys are setting a trend. The dancers have been wearing the cool leggings. What's new with fitness here? A big project of mine this summer was to go off and find a lifestyle and fitness apparel line where you could easily wear it to the gym, you could wear it to work, or some of the tees and tanks you could pair with jeans and heels and wear it to the games. The next fitness apparel line is really cool because they can hand dye to our specific TMS Mavs blue color. So we did a line that was tie-dyed black and blue for the Dallas Mavericks dancers to wear and that we also sell in store. Now they do cool tanks, strappy sports bras, capris and leggings that all have a fabulous fit. And all the next fitness apparel is perfect to either wear to the gym, run to the grocery store, or to hang out on your couch watching the Mavs while they're on the road. Yeah, you always have to represent the Mavs, right? Always. <laughs> Away and home. Okay, so we know that the Mavs are going on all-star break soon, but Valentine's Day is right around the corner, so can you still buy stuff? Is the hangar going to be open? Oh yeah, absolutely. So the Hangar Victory Park is always open, even when we do not have home games. The Hangar Victory Park is open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and then on Sundays during season from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. So speaking of Valentine's Day, it's right around the corner, and I know Earl's gonna kill me if I don't ask, so you better be taking notes. What are some things to buy for your significant other? Some of the best gifts we have, um, perfect for your significant other for Valentine's Day, are our women's line of jewelry that comes to us from Logo Art. It's all Swarovski crystals and silver plated. We also have a line of Lucchese custom Dallas Mavericks boots for him and for her that are perfect. Our next Skyline home game is coming up on February 3rd. We've got Skyline merch for men and women, which would make a perfect gift. Also, we just got in three new styles of Harwood Classic Dirty Hollywood tees that would be perfect for a gift. And we just got restocked on all our Dallas Mavericks player tees. Or if you're Valentine's picky, you can always just bring them to a game and let them pick out whatever they want, right? Yeah, absolutely. So next time you're at the AAC, make sure to stop by the hangar. Mavs Insider on Fox Sports Southwest.